Hi everyone, it's Veronica and I'm here with a card share. I am in the greeting card swap group over at minialbumscraps.ning.com and um, we were doing a paper-based technique this time and what we were working on was paper piecing. Now I've never done paper piecing before but I figured the only way to get my feet wet was to go ahead and jump in so I signed up for it. We had to make two cards. The cards could be the same or they could be different. So I chose to use the image Gracie, the Greeting Farm stamp Gracie. And I am also using this Spellbinders die. This is the A2 Fancy Ribbon Threader. And actually, I just purchased this from uh, Michaels. They have a really great sale going on. This is their lowest uh, prices of the season sale. And this was not included in the sale items. However, there's a 50% coupon. So um, Spellbinders were not on sale and the 50% did work on it. So I paid, I think it was $15 for this die and I love it. So um, I also used um, Paper Tray Ink Paper, the Sweet Blush. I, um, we had to have three embellishments on our card. And I used a wild orchid crafts flower, some gems, and some ribbon. So this is my submission. And um, I think it turned out pretty well. Oh, and the other paper I, I used was the Recollections Easter paper. And this is where Gracie's outfit is coming from. I walked in the store the other day at Michael's and um, they had all their Easter items 70% off and I saw this paper which I paid a dollar fifty or something for the package of paper and I thought it was just perfect because I didn't think I had any little girly type paper. Let me zoom in just a little bit. Um, girly type paper but when I saw that plaid I thought it was perfect. So um, what I did was use the die here to uh, Mount Gracie on and she is popped up. I also use Spellbinders oval die, the large, oval large die. And uh, this is the Spellbinder, the uh, Paper Tray Ink Sweet Blush Paper. And this is the Sweet Blush Polka Dot Ribbon that I put here. This is what I thread through. And I just love the design at the bottom of this die. I also added a couple of pink gems here and this is the wild orchid craft flower that I put in her hair. Now I colored her with my Copics. This is my first time really using my Copics so I really got to get in there and start working on the techniques that you use to do all of that. Her hair is certainly not colored based on any technique. I just colored it with a marker but I tried to do her skin tone uh, with that. But I did her um, dress, her hat, and her shoes in the um, plaid. And also in that paper pack there was, uh, was a polka dot pink and white paper. There was a lavender paper. So the jacket that was on her outfit, I cut that separately and cut that in lavender. And on the inside we just pretty much had to use a light colored paper so that the person could write a message on it. And I used the Lacy Ovals die and then the large oval die again. And the Lacy Oval was cut in the Sweet Blush Paper Tray Ink Paper. And both my cards are the same. I didn't want to kind of venture out since this was my first time doing it. So these are my submissions for the swap. Hopefully the person that will be receiving them will enjoy them. I hope that uh, you enjoyed it. And I would love to hear your comments. Again, the coloring I know is off, but I'm going to work on that. But um, thank you so much for watching. And again, I would love to hear your comments. Happy scrapping.